When receiving a receipt from a customer or paying a vendor, we must look at applying these payments to existing open entries. We can apply customer and vendor ledger entries in a number of ways. Dedicated journals like the cash receipt journal, payment journals, or payment reconciliation journals, from sales credit memo documents, and from the customer and vendor ledger entries if a sales document has been posted but not applied. In this demonstration, we'll take a look at taking a payment that has already been posted but not applied and applying it to customer ledger entries. To begin, we'll go to the cash receipt journal. And in my bank batch, which balances to my bank account, I have prepared a payment from our customer 30,000 John Haddock Insurance for the amount seen here. And instead of uh, applying this payment, I'm just going to go to post and print, post and yes. The journal lines have been successfully posted. So now the journal line is posted. We can go to the customer. And we can check their ledger entries. And we can see our payment has been registered here. And if we scroll to the right a little bit, we can see that there is a remaining amount. Which shows that the payment is not applied. We can also see an invoice which matches our payment here, 103003. And we still have the opportunity to apply this payment to the invoice. And to do so, we'll make sure that our payment line is selected. We'll go to more options, actions, functions, and apply entries. And this opens a page which shows us in the header, first of all, the details of the line that we've selected, which is our payment that we wish to apply. On the lines, we can see a number of uh, open valid entries for use with this function, and we can select the line which we wish to apply the payment to. So from here, we're selecting our invoice. With this selected, we can see that much in the way we've done in previous demonstrations for the cash receipt journals, we can use a set applies to ID uh, function to apply this payment to the invoice, which defaults in, in this case, the user ID of the person performing the application. So to do this, we go process and set applies to ID. So scrolling to the right, we can see that our amount to apply is for the full amount and it's taking the full amount of our payment as well. Now, the last most important thing we need to do now that we've set up our data is actually post the application. And we do this by once again going to more options, actions, application, and post application. And in doing so, we hit OK. The application is successfully posted. And this posts the application and closes the customer ledger entry that we've been dealing with and reviewing the data, we can see that our remaining amount for this payment is now at zero, much the same our invoice that we were looking at applying the payment to now has a remaining amount of zero, which means that the payment is fully applied.